United 2, Liverpool 2. Not a scoreline I was expecting. Before the game, I thought Liverpool were clear favourites. Certainly not a scoreline I was expecting at half-time. Liverpool was so dominant. 14 shots. United didn't have a single shot in the first half. That's the first time that's happened for, well, since Liverpool away. April 22, I stood in your way on that night. That was an awful, awful night. But Liverpool have played United three times this season. Not managed to win one of them. Again, if you would have said that to me in December before the game at Anfield, not a chance for that would have happened. And United have not loved pull out of the FA Cup. So today's game at Old Trafford it was exciting. Great goals, especially from Manchester United. You might say it was a fair result. I'm a little concerned though because that's two points from nine in the last eight days for Manchester United. And if I look at the league table, not just the teams above, it's the teams below. It's your West Ham's, your Newcastle's, your Chelsea's. They're, they're starting to, you know, they're picking up wins. And if United don't start winning, then United will find themselves seventh, eighth, ninth, and not playing any European football. Although the winning the FA Cup or the FA Cup could be away into Europe. So United remain six for the time being. The fixtures do get a little bit forgiving. Although in saying that. Bournemouth or Bournemouth put free passage United at Old Trafford in December. But then we've got them home games against um, Sheffield United, uh, Burnley as well. You, you, you expect Manchester United to win them. But what do you expect anything from Manchester United and when they deliver this season? So some ratings today. Anana, um, top save after two minutes, made himself big, got a palm to it. Um, loudly cheered after a double... Doubling back on uh, Cody Gapko. I thought he was good again. Uh, he's becoming one of Manchester United's most important players. Uh, deserves a seven. Booked for delaying the restart after 79 minutes. Went the wrong way for, for Salah's penalty. I think Salah tends to put his penalty central, but Anana made his decision and, and he went. But even though he conceded two and four on Thursday night, I still think that he's, he's playing well. And he's playing behind the defence, which is changing all the time as well. Um, Delo, uh, six, did well to stop a, a Darwin ball. And he blocked a shot from Nunez on um, on, on 41. Um, same person. Lovely run after 19, uh, let's see, 58 minutes as he controlled. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember, w w Wamba Saka hit that wild ball, which sort of went up in the air across the edge of United's area and he controlled it and powered his way forward so he did well there. Um, not his best game but he did okay. Maguire 7, very busy in the first half um, as United didn't get, didn't get a single shot. Liverpool certainly did. Blocked um, a 47th minute shot from, from Nunes. Um, how many different combinations has he played? He's, he's had like more partners than Katie Price. So that's not his fault, is it? Um, so I think he did well. And the man he played alongside today, Gambwala, well, that was his first um, Premier League start at Old Trafford. Big test, made a mistake on, on Nunes, but recovered to win the ball. Uh, then he signalled to lift the crowd, blocked a Bradley effort on 46, booked on 74 um, for a challenge that won applause. Uh, he's good on the ball. I like him. He's fast. He's powerful. He's, he's in the infancy of his Manchester United career. But if he can play more, and the only way that's going to happen is because of the injuries, at least looking at it from where I am, um, that, then great if he can show that he's a Premier League uh, player. Because the last time he played, I think, was West Ham away. That was a pretty awful um, performance for everyone just before Christmas. So he gets a seven. Uh, Wan-Bissaka um, gets a couple less five, played on the left again, probably to deal with Salah. Got forward right from the start. Um, a little mistake allowed, uh, a 10th minute Liverpool counter-attack. He actually, yeah, he got the assist for Mainu. Um But he'll be remembered for putting his leg out and Harvey Elliott going over it for an 81st minute penalty. Bit silly, bit silly, bit soft, bit silly. You go to ground like that and you don't win the ball. You're struggling. Casemiro, six. A couple of committed tackles, but Liverpool's midfield ran through. 
United several times in the first half. He headed um, a 27th minute ball across goal, really nice towards Hoyland, but Hoyland couldn't make it. I think it, his overhead kick set up the move for United second. Uh, he was booked on 96 after going through on Diaz. Maynou, uh, seven, difficult for him in the first half. And I'm just seeing in the last couple of matches, he's not quite as effective as he has been, but we'll cut him as much like as he wants. Um, left Diaz ahead of the first goal. He spoke very well after the game, talking about the little mistakes, and that was probably one of them. Um, his tackle started United's first counter after going behind. But his goal is what we'll talk about. Set it up with his left foot, struck it with his right. First professional goal at Old Trafford. And he set off to celebrate before it had even gone in. He said it felt good. Well, it certainly looked good. Congratulations. Bruno Fernandes, another seven. His early pass forward was a fraction delayed. And that was meant that United were offside. But United actually started well the first 10 minutes. Then he moved wide left in the second half. A couple of times he ended up as the last man. And did well at one point to tidy up, uh, well, to win the ball from when Salah was going towards goal uh, after 89 minutes defensive at the end. Um, what else on Fernandez? Oh, yeah, his goal. Wow, what an equaliser. Beautifully took, jumped on a mistake, but from distance. You know, you, you see on TV programmes on the crossbar challenge how many people don't actually hit the target. So he hit the target under pressure. Top, top finish. And I think even Jurgen Klopp said that. Klopp's record against United. Won six, drawn eight, lost uh, five. So it's, it's not great. Go on, Nacho, seven. Um, put the ball in the net after finishing well, but it was offside very early on. Then he was quiet, but he came to life more in the second half. Shot over after 53. Shot on target after 73. Was involved in the build-up to Maynou's goal. Um, came off again. I thought it was odd at Chelsea the other night when he came off. I thought it was a little bit odd as well today because he, he graphs and graphs. But then if he starts next week at Bournemouth, that will be his 30th consecutive uh, start. So maybe his minutes are being managed. Rashford back in the team after not starting at Chelsea the other night. I'm giving him a five, quite in the first half. Beautiful cross to Casemiro on 53 as United sort of came alive. And then after 64, he sat down, he was injured. And he came off injured. Sad to see. And, well, this team doesn't need any more injuries. Hoyland, five. Uh, stumbled and couldn't get onto a 27-minute Casemiro header. Not easy when you're up against Verhild van Dijk, as he was. Another um, lesson for him. Another learning experience. I'm, I'm sort of thinking mentally into next season. These lads are just going to keep getting better and better. But they've also got to finish this season strongly because the manager's got to keep his job for a start. Substitutes. Anthony on for Rashford after 65 when he was injured. Booked after 93 after his reaction following a push from Andy Robertson. Um, shot on target, but he was pretty weak after 96 minutes. Amrabat, so Anthony 6. Amrabat 6-2. He came on for Ganacho after 79, trying to shore things up, but then Salah scored. Uh, he's barely featured, so it was quite surprising to see him come on. But... I don't know how much is going to be featuring between now and the end of the season, which obviously disappoints him, but that's on the manager. Uh, Mason Mount came on for Manu after 83, was booked nine minutes later after taking a tackle. I think diplomatically we say he took it for the team. Um, so two all, no game for a week now until that Bournemouth match. Uh, United need to start winning. Thanks to everybody who bought the new United We Stand today. Uh, we worked hard to get it out. We worked all Easter on it and subscription copies are in the post. I'll be in the shops Tuesday, Wednesday and will be available to download digitally from midnight Sunday going into Monday. And we'll also be selling it at the next couple of matches as well. Until next time, goodbye.